and see how long it takes to get from out of the box onto the internet. Adams Hewlett Packard 8250 is based on the Intel Celeron 266 MHz processor and boasts lots of features. It's a good computer. For a Wintel PC, it comes in two big boxes. Johan's iMac comes in just one box, but that doesn't mean he's working with less computer. The PowerPC G3 processor that powers every iMac makes it twice as fast as Adam's PC. The iMac is loaded with all the same features, plus it has built-in 100 base T Ethernet networking and a bigger 15-inch display. More power wrapped in an all-in-one package. Adam was off to a good start, but he's falling behind. He has lots of components to unpack and hook up. He needs help. Let's speed him up to make it fair. The iMac's all-in-one design makes it easy for Johan and Brody. Connect the power, keyboard, mouse, and built-in modem. Adam's getting confused. Putting together a PC takes concentration. He's double-checking the directions. At 4 minutes and 40 seconds, Johan powers up the iMac. Time for a break. Those external speakers are costing Adam time. And look at all those cables. Johan is close to the finish line. Using Internet Setup Assistant, from out of the box onto the internet, he logs on at 8 minutes 15 seconds. Game over. At 14 minutes 51 seconds, Adam finally powers up the pavilion. Now might be a good time to review some of the extensive documentation that comes with every PC. With all the time he saved, Johan checks his stock portfolio. At 18 minutes 10 seconds, Adam locates his Certificate of Authenticity and starts to register Windows. Do we really need to see more? Adam's final time to log on is 27 minutes 39 seconds, over three times longer than Johan and Brody. Now you're probably thinking, this isn't fair. You're right. Brody helped. By the way, that was totally real. We just got these two guys and filmed them. Didn't tell them anything, and it was totally real. We got to make that into a commercial, don't we? Yeah. So, these are four incredibly powerful, unique, compelling assets. The brand, the installed base, especially in the consumer and education markets, the ability of our design to really take these products into that consumer space of fashion and the fact that our products are dramatically simpler to set up and use than our competitions. Incredibly important and we think these things along with products like the iMac are going to allow us to grow in the consumer market and grow in the education market and grow in the design and publishing market. So with this product starting off with we expect to see some growth in the next six months at Apple. And we will share that with you as it happens. So again, going back to Abraham Maslow, he created his hierarchy of needs. And we've borrowed it today to take a look at a hierarchy of skepticism that's followed us for the last year as we've slowly demonstrated step by step that Apple is coming back in a very big way. And we spent a lot of the last year working on these three things which are now visible. The survival of the company, 
a very stable and healthy business and a terrific product strategy. And we are now going to demonstrate these last two steps. Applications coming back to the Mac. People are absolutely going to be able to get the applications they want on the Mac. And in many cases, they're going to be the best versions available. And how this all translates into growth for Apple, for its developers, and for the market in general of Macintosh customers. So I really appreciate the chance to be with you today. We've got a great show. Go check out the iMacs. Go check out a lot of the USB peripherals. And go check out a lot of this great software. Thank you very much. Thank you.